Hey people, and today we're going to be building Worf's weapon, the Batleth. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so first things first, the gentleman I'm building this for, he, the original is 116 centimeters, but he wants it just at 70 centimeters, and that was one of the requests, and the other one was it needs to be con safe. Okay, so first things first, what we'll do is we'll just, but we'll just draw. So if it's 70, it's 35. So we'll just draw it out half like that. In fact, we'll go all the way to the end like that. 35 like that. Okay, so the bat left. Okay, so got a rough shape here. Like that. I'll fine tune this after it's just to take a look at the rough size. There we go. And it comes up a bit like that. And it comes round for the hands. And this needs to be con safe, so it'll be the old reliable EVA foam. Yep, 35. Perfect. Double check that. 35. Yes. Just gonna cut them out and I'll just flip the pattern. All the way around onto that cut. There we go. We'll perfect this obviously. Just flip that and that'll be our pattern. Okay, let's get some EVA foam. Ooh, cool. Right, so first things first, this stuff comes rolled up and what it tends to do, it tends to stay rolled up. So all you do for that is you just Heat it up with a heat gun, ever so slightly, not a lot, just to straighten it out, just like that. And make sure you don't lay it flat on your table because your mat will heat up and curl up. It's an absolute nightmare, so just keep it away from it. Heat it up, not too much, that'll do it. Yeah, that's fine, that'll hold, that's better. I'll do the same with the other one and we'll cut this baby out. Okay, so let's trace this baby out. And it looks like I'll be able to get both sides out of this one piece. So that's good news. Just trace it, get to the end and stop and just give it a line there like so. It's not rocket science, it's just following your line like that. And it come right down to there like so. Give yourself another line there and that way when you flip it, you'll know where the other side starts. That's a great thing about Flipping the pattern immediately, you get a perfect mirrored finish. You don't have to worry about it matching because just flip the pattern. There we go. Nearly done. And there we go. That's one. Oh, I'm liking the shape. Okay, let's just see if we'll be able to. Yes, we will. You see? Like that. That should work out. Right, so we've got our shapes cut out. I've just kept away from the line there because I'll perfect it afterwards. Now, being con safe, this stuff is wonderful, but unfortunately it's a bit, it's a bit floppy. So to make it more sturdy, we're gonna use this aluminum wire armature. And what we'll do is we'll just put it all the way along the edge like that all the way along just bury it in halfway halfway in this halfway in that and then glue them together and then that will make it much sturdier so i'll just mark that out and i'll get back to you okay so that's our line right there and what we do now we just go in and we want to cut half of the width of this armature wire so if we just go in at an angle like that just cut in make sure you don't cut all the way through because then you'll have to glue it from the other side it's not the end of the world armageddon that is the end of the world okay with the blade just exposed that much i know i'm not going to go through this 10 mil foam so we're safe Okay, so I've got that nice and cut out. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend this into place so it bends all the way around and fits in to all of them little tracks. Okay, now all I'm doing is I'm just super gluing this pipe in. Just a bit of super glue, not too much. Just to hold it in there and then we'll glue the two pieces together itself with contact adhesive. We'll just get half on there like so. Put that out of the way, push that down. Just set that off quickly. I'll try not to glue my fingers to the metal itself. That's holding, that's fine. And this makes it con safe and also sturdy enough so it doesn't flop about on you. I'll keep the armature out of here so if anybody was to run into that, it would just flop, but it won't bend drastically. So I'll just go all around that and 
end up right back here where we started. Okay, there it is, right back there. Then what I'll do is I'll just go over that little bit of glue on that joint and just glue them together forever. Yeah, and then obviously when it's done, it's all glued in, we'll just straighten it and then join them together. Right, and the way I'm going to mark up this side so I know where this pipe goes is I'm just going to line this up. I've drawn them on both sides, so just line it up into the middle there, try and get it roughly same place I hope you can see that so it's all roughly in line like so and then just push down really really hard and what it will do the pipe itself will mark the EVA foam and then you'll have your mark just there you can't you maybe can't see it but it's right there I'll just draw around it quickly the pipe that's the other pipe I know you can't see this but it's there I promise you there we go so that's our cut out line roughly that overlaps yes that's right because when we flip it that's the higher one so we'll do that again and there you have it right so i've got that other channel cut out right there now all i've got to do is put the contact adhesive on here this side put the contact adhesive on this side and that side let it go tacky and then glue them together okay let's do that okay so i'm just finishing up there and don't be scared go into those grooves and go way over the line because there's nothing worse than when you glue it together you end up with a little dry spot in the corner there and they don't stick together and you have to go back in and glue it all in so just go over your marker pen lines like this way over it don't try and stick to the lines as long as you're over it and right in that groove there because we want those two to stick together and we want the armature also to stick together notice i've gone over these cutout bits here because we're going to glue them together and we're going to cut them out after so now we just glue them together all together like that just let that go tacky a bit and then we can glue these together forever and then we'll cut out these bits and all the way around and clean it up nicely just make sure you go over all those edges so you don't leave any dry spots it's very easy to do look at it from different angles if it's not shiny that means there's no glue on it okay just let that go tacky and then we'll glue it together okay so that's gone tacky and now we just just drawn a line all the way across so i know where i am exactly lift these up and join them together the best i can like so i hope you can see this if you can't i'm sorry but it's the only way for me to make sure i'm in line okay so that's nicely stuck down now and nice and sturdy you see the way it was before see the difference there we go let's cut that round nicely and then give it some shapes okay so here i'm just keeping away from the line because i want to go back in with the rotary tool and do that later on see just keep away from the line mind your fingers here go all the way around like that that's good okay so i've cut that out very roughly don't worry about that we'll clean all these edges up afterwards now what i've got here is i've got the pattern which matches exactly and all i'm going to do is i'm going to put in these sharp bits because that's where the weapon gets sharp and goes to a point like so like that so basically i'm going to put all of them bevels in like that so it'll start there like so about a centimeter i would say and all I'll do is I'll just cut that out put my pattern on and then trace it okay so all I've done is I've just traced it cut them out like so and then when I put them on you see and I'll line up the edges there that gives me my perfect bevel right there all you do is just mark that all the way around and that gives you a bevel and that goes into nothing like that and then flip it and the same thing there okay so i've just refined those edges a bit gone around them nicely smooth and i've just cut off some of this just to give it a little bevel and i'm going to go in with my rotary tool and i've marked my center line there just there and i'm going to go to that and sharpen it to that and then also i'm going to just just take off a little bit there and a little bit there for the handle so they round over so when we wrap it with the leather it'll look more round and not so square but nice and solid i'm happy with it over to the rotary tool okay Okay, that's all sanded nicely. Now let's heat seal it. All we're doing here is just heat sealing the foam. So get rid of any of those rough bits. And also when we apply the plasti dip on, it'll be easier to apply it if all this foam is sealed. So just go over it, don't go crazy, don't burn it. And then what I like to do, if I have anything with a point like them there, what I'll do is this. I'll just go over it, heat it up a bit, and then just pinch them together like that. Do the other side. Just pinch them together like that. Nice points on them there. Yeah. 
Power Rangers. I know it's not Power Rangers, but you know what I mean. And now all we have to do is wrap that in leather. So it looks like a leather there. So it's got something to grip hold of. We're gonna be using some two mil EVA foam, wrap it round so it emulates leather. Let's do that. Okay, so I've cut some EVA foam, just strips a bit, and I wrapped it on and it looks okay, but it's not quite the look I'm going for. I don't know, it just looks a bit, it, it doesn't look right. And then I found this piece here that I cut off from the bevel there. And I wrap that around and that looks absolutely brilliant. Can you see? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that piece there, which I've straightened out, and I'm gonna emulate that cut. So it's basically just to keep the flat edge there, and just cut it down to nothing like that. And I'll just cut them out and glue them on. Right, so all I'm doing here, I've just marked out about, oh, I don't know, half an inch in. I'm just gonna cut it on that angle. Just cut it, you see, like that, to sort of nothing like that. Doesn't matter if it's not exactly right because that bevel will just fold over each other as you wrap it. Let's take a look at that. See, it covers those jaggedy bits up as it wraps round. There it is, perfect. Now I'm just going in with some super glue, just not a lot, just a little bit, and just wrapping it round like so. I'm trying not to stick my fingers to it. Just wait for that to dry and then just carry on. And all I've done here, finish it off, is just I've tapered the end off. As you can see, I've just made it, tapered it off, and then I'm just going to wrap it in so it joins up and it becomes like a straight finish like that, like that, and like that. That's it. Perfect. Now you can hold on to it. Good grip. Won't lose it in one of his epic battles. Just do the same to this and that, and then we can seal it with Plasti Dip. Okay. That's the last of it. Perfect. And I managed to put most of the super glue onto the bat leather, not my fingers. So I'll just heat seal them and then two coats of Plasti Dip. But I'll do that outside because that stuff is toxic. Even wearing a mask afterwards it stays in the air. So two coats, both sides, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the Plasti Dip has dried. Nice and dry. Perfect. All I've done is I've just put a safety pin inside. I hope you can see that so I can hook it up when I sprayed it. And now I'm just going to go over it with some chrome spray all over it outside because this indoors is not good for you. Right, okay, so the silver is all dry, it's nice. And now all I'm gonna do is paint these leather bits like a brownie color. So I've just mixed up a little paint here, nothing fancy, it's just a bit of white and brown mixed together. Uh, a lighter brown than I need because I'm gonna go in and weather this after. Just paint it all the way to the end carefully, cut it in, do all three of them, let them dry, and then we'll weather it. Okay, we're just coming to the end here, fill all that in, we'll just let it dry and then I'm going to go over it when it's dry with some darker brown just to weather it. There we go. Perfect. Right, that's all dry. Perfect. Now all I've done is I've just taken the original brown I had and uh, put it into a little uh, glass Tupperware there and I've added some black, mixed it together and then watered it down so it's very, very watery. Like that as you can see it's like it's almost like ink and now nothing fancy here just go over it like that to get into all those grooves there that's happening see like so hope you can see that and then once it's in while the paint is still wet just take a little sponge and wipe it off you see what that does see the difference between that and that that looks like I don't know fake leather and this looks like it's the real thing oh yeah I'll just do that to all of them and we're done and now for the big reveal it's done 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 it's done it's looking cool okay let's weigh it put him on the scales there let's take a look it's coming in at 204 204 so my fish scales is 1.243, 1.243 divided by 0 0.204 equals 6. Okay, so basically it's 1 sixth. So there you have it, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, the gentleman I'm making this for, he's going to a con, so, I, so it's con safe. And he's a lovely man. Uh, Nick, well, I think that's his name. It could be his nickname. But nevertheless, Nick, you're a lovely man. Thank you very much for asking me to make this because I've enjoyed every second. As for you guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.